Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to my SLK 350. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. I really hope you enjoy it. And if you like this kind of content with my own cars, this beautiful little SLK 350, a Maserati Gran Turismo from 2013, and a cute little MG Midget from 1970, it'd be great to have you as a subscriber. So those of you who've been with the channel for a while will know that I picked up this uh, beautiful uh, 2008 SLK uh, a couple of weeks ago. I'm absolutely loving it so far. Fantastic little car. But when I was doing my research, um, I didn't find a lot of information about how this car changed uh, when it was facelifted in 2008. The R171 SLK first came out in about 2004. And then in 2008, it was facelifted. And I was looking for some videos like comparing the two and pointing out the differences. I couldn't find a lot, but there was a lot of information online. And so I thought I'd put this video together, basically just explaining everything that was different uh, between the pre-facelift and this one, which is the post-facelift. Most significant change, I guess, is under the hood here where this uh, 3.5 litre V6 engine now produces an extra 33 horsepower, uh, is more fuel efficient and reduces emissions. You can tell this one because it has the red flash on it. Uh, the previous versions had the gray flash. Uh, so significant improvement uh, to performance and efficiency. So changes to the front of the car include a redesigned uh, front bumper here with a more distinctive v-shape you'll see that this uh, little area here is different from the pre-facelift which has a divider here um, the star area has been re reworked as well uh, these little blades here are now different from the uh, earlier version and the fog lights here have got these nice uh, chrome surrounds so it really just sharpens up the front of the car so around the back of the car we've got changes as well uh, we've got this new rear bumper here with a kind of diffuser underneath. Looks a little bit more aggressive. Uh, the exhaust pipes are now this, what they call trapezoidal shape, this kind of rectangular shape. And also the tail lights here have got the smoked color, which is the same as the SL55. So a nice improvement to the rear as well. So the mirrors have been updated with a larger mirror surface area and also this indicator uh, section being redesigned in this kind of arrow shape. It also has a new antenna which is suitable for the car wash. Boing. There are a few interior updates like the window switches have been improved. There's this new chrome trim here and also there's a little strip of chrome across there which just gives it extra horsepower. The facelifted version also has this new steering wheel with updated buttons. Uh, the previous version had individual silver buttons here, so that looks a lot nicer. And the instrument cluster has red highlights uh, on the needles. Uh, it has bezels around the dials in a kind of 3D design. Chrome surrounds for the tubes here and the clock fuel gauge just gives it an extra little sporty look. And the colour is new for the SLK. This is palladium silver, uh, which those of you who've been with the channel for a while will know that my CL500 was this exact same colour, uh, palladium silver, but this is the first time you could get it in an SLK. One of the biggest improvements on the uh, pre-facelift version is the NTG 2.5 uh, command system. This uh, allows for not only Bluetooth telephone connection, which is kind of standard, but also in the glove box, we have the provision for the uh, multimedia interface, which allows with an adapter here, uh, Bluetooth audio streaming, which is a real bonus. And for the first time in an SLK, it has the Linguatronic uh, voice recognition system. Navigation. and it works too. 
So that's just a brief uh, introduction to all the uh, changes on the uh, new facelifted uh, R171 SLK. Mercedes claims, and I've said this in previous videos, that there are over 650 uh, new components or new features in this car. Um, I'm obviously not going to go through all of them, uh, but it was a significant facelift and uh, I definitely wanted to get one of these, not least for the um, for the upgraded uh, in infotainment system, uh, which makes a huge difference. Let me know in the comments if I've missed anything. I'm sure there are loads of things apart from the ones that I've mentioned that have been improved. Uh, drop a comment down below, let me know <laughs> what I've missed out. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to smash that like. It'd be great to have you as a subscriber and hit that notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram down here. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.